All right, good morning. Today is another spirit day at school, and Ellis is a winter, what is it, winter palooza? And so he got a shirt specially made by Auntie Ashley with a nice snowflake on it. And then it has his name on the back. Turn around, buddy. There it is, man. You look ready for winter. This looks exciting day today, and then Dad gets to volunteer today and see you at school. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. But I need help. I wore the perfect pants to the Women's Center. I didn't mean to wear these there, but it was a perfect pick, and the staff there loved them, as did I. <laughs> I get my love for nature from my dad, so I'm bringing him to see the Japanese garden. Yay. Let's see what he thinks. Maybe that's the one that went to your window before when you were in there, remember? Wow. I have this gorgeous cup today that was sent to my P.O. box and it was hand jeweled by one of you and I love it so much. Winnie, she asked me what was in it because she wants to steal it right now. I told her it's coffee so no, but I'll fill it with water next time and let her use it because look at these sparkles, they're gorgeous. Today was quick at City of Hope. I had a mammogram and that was it. I'm so glad it was quick and easy because I think tomorrow's gonna be longer. Yeah. And I'm dreading not, it. Not as easy tomorrow. The anxiety's already kicking in. So I think I'm gonna go, or I know I'm gonna go get a new nail polish right now and paint my nails because it helps keep me distracted when I'm having bad anxiety. And when he loves looking at nail polish, so that's what we're gonna go. Do look at nail polish. Winnie gave me a necklace that she wants me to wear into the store, aka a lay from my cousins. So I'm wearing it into the store. I'm going to take a nap with Winnie. And, and I am going to volunteer at Ellis's school for the last time this Daddy, school year. Daddy, can I, I, get open? I was thinking, I'm talking but showing your face, so it's like you're saying, I'm going to take a nap with him. All right, yeah, that's what we're doing. So, it'll be fun. Tomorrow is scan day and brain MRI day. They are checking for the status of my cancer to see if there is new growth or not, if it's stable, if it's shrinking, whatnot. See if treatment is working, basically. Because if it is working, great, we need to stay on it. If it is not working, then I need to stop it and start something new. I feel like I am on the verge of an anxiety attack. Um, I'm just freaking out in my head and my body is. I feel it shaky and I'm going to go take a shower and try to reset and then maybe try to do some things that help with my anxiety, try to cope in a healthy way. I just took anxiety medication because I feel like I'm going to have an anxiety attack and it is only 4.30, 4.30. I still have to get through the rest of the evening, the night, and the morning. Leading up to the scans is really scary. It's not just the results that I'm afraid 
of, which I'm terrified of the results about that part. Um, but it's also the act of getting the scans, or mainly the brain MRI. I have developed claustrophobia through this cancer journey, and it's very bizarre, but it's like a real thing where I get claustrophobic in the in the machine and start to panic. Irrational like thoughts run through my mind and I panic. So I'm afraid of the actual scans, like the act of getting them and the results. And you guys know I can't lay flat, it hurts me. So I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid of all the medications I have to take. I'm afraid of everything, how my body's going to react to everything. But we're not going to start going down the rabbit hole of what's freaking me out because I'm trying to reset. So I'm going to go take a shower and sorry for all the lint. Um, this is Kyle's sweater from his grandpa. What does it say? Los Angeles Fire Department. His grandpa was, or is, a retired fire chief. Fire chief or fire captain? Is it the same thing or different? I'm not sure. I'll have to ask him. Fire captain? I think he's a retired fire captain. I don't know. I'll have to ask him. And he has really great stories about when he worked for the fire department. He's kind of like Kyle's dad because Kyle didn't have a dad. His dad left when he was little and so he didn't have a father in his life but his grandparents were very close to him his mom's dad and mother they were very close to him so they helped raise him kind of and his dad even though his dad left his grandma on that side and grandpa on that side kept in touch with Kyle and his whole life um, so it's nice to see they still have that connection even though things didn't work out with his dad. It's nice that he still has the love from his grandparents on that side. I don't know why I'm going on a tangent, you guys. I cannot... <laughs> I can't deal with me right now. Okay, I'm gonna go shower. Bye. It is much later and I have not had a panic attack or an anxiety attack and I am grateful for that. I have been doing self-care and I painted my nails. I went with classic red and I painted Winnie's a sparkly periwinkle color that she picked out, which I love this color. When I was in elementary school, my mom made me an afghan and one of the colors in it was periwinkle. And that was like my first time learning of the color periwinkle. And I thought it was so, unique and cool and I just loved periwinkle so every time I see something periwinkle I think of me as a child and how happy I was whenever I saw periwinkle and I know me as a child would love the periwinkle nail polish that Winnie chose. My mammogram went well today the tech who did it was very nice super super nice and made me feel really comfortable. You know, it's an awkward thing to be topless and having them, you know, help you get into the machine. And she was really nice, made me feel very comfortable. And on the questionnaire that I filled out, you have to like fill out your doctor's name and, you know, personal information. If you're pregnant, when was your last period? Have you had breast cancer, I think, was on there? Um, have you had a mastectomy? Have you had a biopsy of your from your breast? A lumpectomy, etc. Breast implants. And um, I had a left lumpectomy. So I put that. <laughs> when I was a senior in high school, I had a left, my left breast had a lump removed from it. So the story of that, I thought it might be a fitting time to share that story since that was my chair. Um, I thought that might be a fitting, now might be a fitting time to share that story because I just had, I'm a, um, no, no, what is it called? 
mammogram. I had a mammogram. Almost called it a mastectomy. No, no. Anyways, so I was 17 and I felt a lump in my left breast on, at the bottom half and a tiny one. So my mom took me to the doctors and the woman who checked me out said that maybe because my period was starting that I had lumps in my breast at the time and that some people have lumpy breasts. And I thought, okay, you know, I'm new to this breast world. What do I know? I'll just take her word for it. <laughs> and then six months later, I felt it and I was like, whoa, it's big. And my dog's wandering. I was like, whoa, the lump got way bigger. And like, it's a lump now. Like, it's not just I have lumpy breasts, it's a lump. And so I told my mom one morning, she was, I was sleeping on the couch and I don't know why I was sleeping on the couch. I was sleeping on the couch and she came out and said, what's going on? Like, what were you telling me? I was telling her, I don't remember how I started to tell her. I said, there's a lump on my, my left breast. And she's like, well, can I check it? And I was very shy. I was like, you can close your eyes and I'll put your hand where to touch. But that's it. <laughs> so I was so modest. And so my mom felt it and she, her reaction cracks me up to this day. She was clearly terrified and, but she wanted to stay cool, calm and collected for me so that I didn't worry. And she was like, Trisha, my cousin was at our house. She said, Trisha, come out here and feel this please. Will you go ahead and feel this on Jenny for me please? And then she starts coming out, my cousin, and my mom's on the phone calling our doctor. I'm gonna need to make an appointment as soon as possible for my daughter. So I know she's scared, which is not funny, but everything was fine, so it works out. But then my cousin came and felt, and my cousin's like, yeah, that's a lump, you need to get that checked. And so I went to the doctor and they felt it and they were like, yep, yeah, you have a lump. And then the next, they sent me to another doctor they felt it, yeah, you have a lump. It was like I just kept going to all these people to feel my lump and I was shy and I was having to show all these people my breast and you know, I'm 17, very modest. So I was self-conscious, but by the end I was like, whatever, here it is. <laughs> and so then they said, we're gonna have to do an ultrasound on it to see I didn't know, they were seeing if it was cancerous, which I don't know how you can tell from an ultrasound, but that's what they said. And so my mom was saying to me, to make me feel better, like, don't worry, it's not gonna be anything, it's nothing to worry about. And I was like, okay. And then they did the ultrasound and they were like, it's benign. And my mom said, oh, thank you, Jesus, and started calling everyone, telling them it was benign. Um, and then the tech said, but you need to have surgery to remove it. And so I started crying because I was sad that I have to, had to have surgery to remove it because I thought it was nothing. So my mom said, oh, don't worry, it's nothing. So in my mind, I was like, it's supposed to be nothing. Why do I have to get surgery to remove it if it's nothing? And my mom was, you know, thinking whatever she had secretly been worried about. And so she was like, oh, praise the Lord, it's benign. And so I thought that was funny. And then I had the surgery to remove the lump. All went well. The tumor was maybe like the length of an almond and then a little bit fatter. And they checked it again after removing it and it was not cancerous, but that's my lumpectomy story. It was um, 
scary and a big deal at 17 years old, but I feel like my family handled it well, got it taken care of quickly, and I was brave, as, as I tend to be. Just kidding. Um, yeah, that's my lumpectomy story, and my mammogram went well. Last time I was really, really thin when I got my mammogram. It was right after the um, immunotherapy reaction, and I had my port hook up with the needle in it, so it was really hard to do the mammogram. And this time there was no port hookup. I still have my port, but the needle was not in it, so it was so much easier this time. And it only hurt when she did like the sideways angle squashing, you know? The front way was way easy, so fine. Um, if you're afraid of a mammogram and you haven't had one, I would say try not to worry because it's not scary. I would tell you if it was scary. I'm too honest. <laughs> Tomorrow I am going in for my brain MRI and my CT scan to check my torso for cancer. If you pray, um, we're praying for the scans to be good, either for it to be stable or decreasing in cancer or just means that treatment's working and that I get through the scans with peace because I have had panic attacks in that brain MRI machine because it's very overwhelming and I, like I said, I've developed claustrophobia and I start to panic and imagine the cancer just going all through my brain I start to believe that like my heart starts pounding from the panicking and I believe I'm gonna die in that moment so let's hope that doesn't happen that would be really nice <laughs> so let's hope and pray for good results good scans and everything to go well we'll probably have to wait a little longer than normal for the results because of the holidays so there's that and I'm taking medication that has made me throw up before so hopefully I don't throw up in the scans because that wouldn't be good. I'll let you guys know how everything goes tomorrow. I will film and bring you guys along. I'm always tempted to film in the room during the scans but I don't know if that's allowed, if people will think I'm weird. We'll see if I'm brave. I'm at least going to try to be brave to ask the tech or whoever's in the room to take a picture of me laying there for the scans because I want to do a funny reel on Instagram that I have envisioned. So hopefully I'm brave enough to do that. I will see you guys tomorrow. I appreciate you. I love you. You guys truly mean so much to us. We have gotten more stuff from the P.O. Box and you guys are so great. I I need to show you some of this stuff, it's so special. You guys truly mean so much to me and my kids and my husband and even the dogs <laughs> and cat. Um, we all appreciate you guys so much. Whew, I'm really scared. And hopefully I can get through it fine and it'll all turn out well. And if not, I trust that my team has a plan. So we'll be good. All right. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. This is our closet. Not much to see here. Oh wait, except this is where Kyle hides Flower's best friend when he can't take looking at her. <laughs> it freaks me out. It's just peeking out of our closet because the door's open. And I tell him, no, babe, don't put it there. So, good night from Audrey Baby Dog. That's her name. Good night, good night, good night. <laughs>